All right, guys, what do I feed my tortoise in addition to the tortoise plants that are in their habitat? Well, the answer is you can just make them uh, varied salads. Uh, what I did here today is I prepared some uh, dishes for a five-year-old Littlefoot Mojave Desert Tortoise. This one here is a plate for the four baby Mojave Desert Tortoises. And this is a dish right here for Charlie, the big older tortoise. These two small dishes, one is for the bearded dragon, Mrs. Pumpkin. She will dine outside today. And then this one is for Iggy, a desert iguana. He eats um, the both, Mrs. Pumpkin, the bearded dragon, and the iguana, desert iguana. They eat bugs and they also eat vegetation. So in their plates, let's start with them. They have some, right here we have some uh, greens, uh, collard greens, chopped up, and I chopped up a sugar snap pea on that. Over here, um, yellow squash, and over here, romaine. And um, they like all of them and they all have different uh, water. They get a lot of water from their chopped romaine, of course. And then the greens, they really like those. And they're one of their favorites are the yellow squash. That goes for the bearded dragon and for the desert iguana. Now, my rule of thumb is to um, chop them small, smaller than their heads. Well, these are, of course, way smaller than their heads, but it just makes it a lot easier for them to eat. Um, somebody once told me that their bearded dragon died from choking on a piece of food. So that concerns me and I always want to make sure that the food is small enough. The desert iguana is smaller than the bearded dragon and he ha doesn't have a tongue that picks the food up so he has a, a little bit of a harder time getting to it and eating it. Okay, so that is what is in their plates of food. Now the um, same things are in the tortoise dishes. So we have romaine, we have the collard greens, we have sugar snap peas, we have yellow squash, but we also add, I add the cucumber because the tortoises really like the cucumber. So in the, the four babies that are uh, three and four, they have collard greens, sugar snap peas, they also like green beans, they also like chopped up apples, some fruit, even pears and bananas. They're not real fond of um, strawberries. Well, they'll eat them, but they're not that good for them, so try to avoid strawberries. These are, um, these are good for them, um, but they also, as I said, they do like green beans and um, apples, but today we're just going with this. So again, collard greens, sugar snap peas. Um, over here is your chopped ye uh, yellow squash. I still chop it for them. They are getting stronger jaws, and they don't, remember, tortoises don't have teeth, but they have a beak. Their beaks are getting sharper, they can handle more. Um, and the romaine, a lot of romaine, they just really love it and it is good for them with the water. And then they really, really enjoy the, um, the cucumbers. So uh, they can handle the slices of them more, but I just, again, I probably baby them too much, but I just wanna make sure that uh, they can get to that. So um, I separated it, you can mix it all together. But some people like they eat their dinner, they're separators and some are mixers. I am a separator, so I separated theirs today. Some days I won't, some days I might make it like a salad for the family and do a base of romaine and then add everything else to it and mix it up. But I wanted to make sure I could share this with you. Okay, this is Littlefoot, he's big. He has a, gonna have a higher food intake. So he has his collard greens, his sugar snap peas. He just crunches away at them, he has a strong beak. He has um, just a little bit of squash here. I'm sorry, a little bit of um, cucumber and then a little bit of yellow squash. They also like the green squash, all the squashes they like. Um, and then, of course, big Charlie out there, 75-year-old Charlie. He has the sugar snap peas, collard greens. He's, he didn't even need me to chop it up this much. Cucumbers, yellow squash, and romaine. So that is what I'm feeding them as a supplement today. And I like to supplement them. Honestly, I spoil mine, so I'm gonna say, uh, if I'm, worst case scenario, I give them a head of romaine and some sugar snap peas whole and just put it out there and let them eat it. But today, um, I wanted to make the salads, so kind of go a little bit crazier with this. But they really need a good diet, especially this time of year. 
a few weeks after they've come out of uh, brumation, and they need to be able to have some good uh, food intake. And again, the bearded dragon, she's going to just love that. And the desert iguana, Iggy, he'll like that. So we've got Iggy, Mrs. Pumpkin, the three babies, and Littlefoot, and Charlie. So um, that's, uh, that's how I have, and I don't give him the end pieces because Charlie can actually devour all of it, including the end, but um, I just cut those off for these guys. And, um, uh, and yeah, that's where we are today. So hopefully this gave you a little insight. Again, how often do I do it? I wasn't very clear on that. Um, well, I like to feed them daily if I can supplement them because the growth of the vegetation outside is not that much. I don't know if you saw the video where they were devouring the small little hibiscus out there. I think next year, once all of the vegetation grows a lot more, then I will only supplement them maybe twice a week. Um, if you supplement yours once a week, that's probably okay, but they really, really need a little bit more. They like to eat, as I said, especially in May, June, um, July and August, they still need to, but they start getting into the estivation where they want to go find a cool place and chill. They kind of cut down on stuff. And then remember, they sleep for five to six months a, a year, and um, we're not feeding them at that time, so I kind of like to spoil them at this time of year. Hopefully this helps you, and leave comments, questions um, uh, below, and uh, like if you like this video, and thanks for watching. Take care of your little guys.